Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. Uh, basically, this is going to be a Bevy engine tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn the core principles on how to make a triple AAA game in Bevy. I know a lot of people, there's a lot of naysayers out there, you know, saying you cannot build a triple AAA game in Bevy because you don't have an editor, because you don't have a lot of stuff. Don't let them say no to you. The first tip and the first lesson I'm going to give you to you guys. If you want to build a game, uh, all you need is determination. You know, just think about like Toby Fox as a genius, build a game on something that I don't even know the name of. So before you guys go, you get demotivated. Find that inner discipline and don't let the naysayers say no to you. I'm going to prove to you guys that this journey is possible. You know, that's the first thing I'm going to give it to you guys. Okay? So don't give up. Uh, so let's let's move forward, right? Uh, so second factor is um, I'm not gonna enter uh, a lot on I'm, not, I'm not gonna say details I'm gonna say I'm gonna teach a lot of Rust here so if you don't know Rust go watch a Rust tutorial there is probably some guys who are better than me I'm gonna think that you guys actually know Rust before you actually use an engine in Rust um, although I didn't know uh, yeah. I just expect that from you. <laughs> you know, it's the only skill that I expect from you that you know the language where the be where the engine was built on. You know, and the second factor is uh, I'm gonna waste a lot of times. So the videos are going to be really short, and uh, in this video specifically, I'm gonna show you guys my environment, my work environment, or also known as my ID, extensions, and all that, and. Then I'm going to show you a few crates that we use. Uh, I'm going to also shout out their creator because something that I think creators of crates and maintainers in Rust in general are, you know, not really well, <laughs> how to put this, um, valorized. You know, I don't know how to say this. They're not really valued, which I think is a shame. So I'm just going to show to you guys like the two main crates that we're going to use. I'm gonna use a few more, but they are very, very like tiny, and their impact is really low. And the two crates are going to be our physics crate, and then it's gonna be our networking crate, also known as basically our workspace environment. When it comes to server, client, and all that stuff, it's worth noting this game is gonna be a multiplayer third-person shooter uh, with animations. And they're gonna be pretty animations? Nope, they're not gonna be pretty. Because after a while, this project is going to move solo. I'm not going to show you guys uh, like more advanced things like all my shaders and beauty and all this stuff. Because it's my game. You guys don't get to steal it. Okay? But I'm going to teach you all the basics. I'm going to show you guys everything that I know when it comes to the you know, really important things. You know, like animation, character customizing, uh, you know, all the stuff that usually AAA games have. Like award. I'm not going to tell you like how to voxel generate. Because... That's like your game, you do what you want. I'm gonna focus on like core things that usually AAA games have. You know? uh, what are going to be exactly? Uh, just look at the videos, there's gonna be a lot of those. They're gonna be really short. It's basically just me building the plugin and explaining to you guys what it's like. So let's go to know our ID and let's give a shout out to the heroes containers, right? Let's just move to screams here. Uh, so this is our ID, okay? Uh, this is basically VS Codeium. It's basically like a uh, a fork of VS Code. Not really important, okay? It's just really not that important. Uh, you can you guys can use VS Code in. You guys can use VS Code. I think most people already utilize that ID, so it's my go-to ID. I do not use all that fancy stuff like NeoVim. I'm not a genius, and I don't like to. I don't feel like the idea of never taking my hands off my keyboard makes sense because I'm just so stupid. <laughs> so I need to Google all the stuff. So yeah, exactly. So let's get to know our extensions, right? This is doc views. It shows the the documentation of a few of our uh, types, uh, structs, and functions. Okay, not much, not really special. Error lens, you must have that. It's really important, especially for beginners. Basically, brings up your error and tells you really on your face like how much of an error. It is. Uh, even better tongue out utilized for settings files. Uh, it's good, it formats, it, it really makes things clear, still clear. It has syntax highlighting. 
it's pretty. Now it's just a pretty thing. Markdown, also something that shows you your readme. Usually games tend to have a readme with a little bit of description, and then they have a technical file which basically gives a description of the how the code works, of the info of the code, and all that stuff. So I usually utilize it a lot. You know, I utilize to make my the first readme of this game. And I think some uh, something you guys should know is that I'm a little crazy. You know, I'm, I'm a little cuckoo. So uh, this test is basically like a kind of like the principal idea of my game. And I elaborated like money, power, unity, and stuff like that. Don't take that in consideration. Please don't pause the screen. Don't read it. I find it a little edgy and cringy, but please don't judge me. You know. <laughs> Let's move forward. Uh, precious team, basically at my team for Visco. Really not important. Rust analyzer, uh, a must-have specifically for Rust. Uh, it fills up. It gives you like IntelliSense. It's really good. It's really good. Really have it. You know, don't don't take hints. And also, it gives a like. There's a lot of things you can find the references. You can find definitions. You just left click on it or you press F12 and you go to the definition of a function. If you don't know what that function is exactly doing, it's it's just so good. This is amazing. Symbols, it's just a few cool symbols to have in Python. Uh, I also, of course, utilize uh, GitHub. Uh, of course, this GitHub is not yet initialized because we are going to do that on the next episode, by the way. Uh, and we're also going to build the infra for our current project on the next episode. Um, and we're going to focus on, uh, since our game is a little bit of network based, it's going to have a very specific info uh, from the early stage because it's a must have. Uh, so please follow along on the next episode if you guys want to make a multiplayer. If you guys don't want to make a multiplayer, fuck off. <laughs> Just joking. Anyways, uh, you can still follow along with every single client logic. I don't think anything really values that much. Yeah, only server logic that may break a few things, you know, replication, rollbacks, and all that stuff. But that's uh, that's we do, we done. So of course you need to have Git. So when you run your terminal, don't forget to have Git. You know, let's, let they don't don't forget to have this guy. If you guys want to know how to install Git? Go watch a fucking tutorial. I'm not a fucking teacher for everything here, man. Uh, let's go. Uh, so this is basically like our go-to repository. This is gonna be Psycho Project. Uh, which is basically like uh the learning stage for me okay this was basically my stepping ground uh basically one of the stairs that i needed to climb and the whole idea here is that you guys don't need to climb that stair uh, same as me you know you, and i learned a lot from it i learned how to actually build my infrastructure how to build useful code and i'm gonna leave that on the link if you guys want to follow along if you guys want to star me because i like my good help stars and if you want to guys want to follow me you can if you don't kind of a dick uh, anyways, uh, this basic cycle project is basically it's gonna be dead after this video. I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's move forward. Uh, let's go give a shout out to the crate maintainers that we're going to base a lot of self in. So the first crate maintainer is this guy called Chris Wombrandia. Uh, Chris Wombrandia. Oh my god, I'm so confusing. But anyways, Chris Wombrandia. So Perwinky, also known as Perwinky, also known as the crazy cat guy. And this guy be hell of a Chad, you know. I, I don't know if he's a guy or if he's a chick, but I, I, I or if he's like one of those uh, trans funky thing, uh, the transsexuals. Uh, I don't judge, man. I don't give a fuck. You know, that's like that's my do. You know, oh god, I'm be so edgy right now. But anyways, uh, let's move forward. This guy uh, really Chad makes a workspace for your network game. So. We're going to use his crate, which is named right here, so we must have it. And then uh, we're going to also show shout out to Perinki, um, your boy right here. And then we're going to use Bevy Raper, also known as a crate made by the Dean Forge organization, uh, currently maintained by Thierry uh, Berger, which is, uh, I think, his name, or also known as Recruity. Uh, don't worry guys those guys know about you guys but i think you guys should give a shout out to him if you ever go join discord of discord to say you're a really cool guy uh so we're basically going to have that physics engine and that thing uh, also shout out to this guy uh, sebastian crozet uh, this guy is a chad uh like the ultimate human being as a person like he just made a lot of things for us in general when involving physics um and that's pretty much it. You know, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time into it. 
uh, if you guys want to discuss something like why you're not using Avian, why you're using Rapier instead of that, you guys can contact me on my Discord, uh, and you can guys can ask me personal questions. You can ask me the name of my mom or something like that. But by the way, just shout out this guy. This guy deserves it. He's a chat. He's a chat. Frenchy, Frenchy, I love him. You know, helped me out a lot. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's let's move forward to our new game stage. You are in for boys.